shopping house and let people go register, get signed up, and then have their plot to grow stuff in there. But that's the last thing governments want is to teach people to be self-sufficient. I follow sports so little that I apologize that I wasn't aware of what was going on in the Astro Dome. W where do they play baseball now? Well, they've got a place called uh, Minute Maid Park, and then the football team got a brand-new stadium right by the Astrodome. And the Astrodome's been vacant for years, and they don't know what to do with it. They can't tear it down because it costs millions of dollars to tear it down. So it's just sitting there infested with rats and stuff like that. Well, maybe Hillary can store all the stolen money in there or something. Good to hear you. I appreciate those points. Uh, Lewis in Texas, go ahead. Welcome. Well, hi, Alex. Pleasure to be on. Um, I just started listening to your show about six months ago, uh, amazingly in California, but um, I'm here in Texas, and it's a great state. But uh, pertaining to my question, I, I, w I have a question pertaining uh, – with Texas and its state powers, I believe in equal opportunity. I believe in the right to bear arms. I believe in the right to uh, for every American student to have uh, equal educational opportunities. But I don't think I don't think that's socialism. And you know that's that's a government investment. But I think the government should be utilized by the people to invest into infrastructure and education and all these uh, great um, things. But you know I, I always hear you um, criticizing liberals and. And sometimes it kind of irritates me. Fake and, liberals. Uh, back. Uh, what? Fake liberals. Fake liberals. Yeah, fake liberals. Yeah. I, I remember because my dad protested against the Iraq war. He's kind of a hippie. And, you know, I well, I was against like, the Iraq war because it wasn't the country that was involved in the attacks. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. And, and like, you know, and I see a lot of stuff like because there's a bunch of liberal propaganda out there. But there's also a lot of Republican propaganda out there. Absolutely. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The, the Democrats are in power right now, and they're going a million miles an hour into tyranny. When the Republicans are in power, I'll support the ones that tell the truth, and I'll go after the ones that are tyrants. It's like Elizabeth Warren. I don't trust her or like her. She's anti-gun and the pro-open border, but at least she says we should see the TPP treaty that's being rammed through right now for the Pacific Union. And so I say she's better than Hillary. I mean, I just, uh, all I can do is take each case. Like, is a cop wrong in this case? Is he right in this case? Or, you know, is a citizen right here? Or are they wrong? I mean, I don't just blanketly choose one group or the other. And then I look at the bigger picture. Uh, but listen, I get the GI Bill and things like that. The problem is when you get government control of education, what Eisenhower warned of, you get the undue influence of the military industrial complex to basically give people the scholarships and stuff because they owe fealty to the system. And then they worship the government that gave them the, the, the discounted education, not the citizens that paid taxes to do it. So do you know how many people lose their houses because the IRS claims they didn't pay enough tax when they don't make enough money to pay for it? Or how many people get their wages garnished with no judge or jury and then down the road, oh, but we're going to, you know, give some poor immigrant, you know, free hospital and let them have their baby for 30 grand. And it, it, it's robbery. And long term, socialism works up front when you've got a big prosperous country if part of the economy is mixed socialism. But it always creates special interest. It always creates a new imperium that hands out the largesse to the different subgroups. And it creates a, oh, what's the term when you hire your family members? Uh, it creates a nepotism, <coughs> a corporatism writ large. It just doesn't work. Go ahead. But, like, you know, oh, yeah, and I was going to say on top of that, you know, there's uh, Republicans capitalized on Christians, and in the Bible it says there'll be a bunch of false prophets. But, you know. Well, sure. I mean, the Republican leadership's for open borders, they're for Obamacare, they're for the TPP. Uh, the, I mean, they tell Obama what to do. I mean, we know that. We're not talking about John Boehner. We're talking about people like Governor Abbott, people like Louis Gummer, people like Rand Paul. And I know all these people. I know all these people. They make a big deal about it in the media. Oh, my God, they know the demon, the unspoken one's name, Alex Jones, the straight shooter. They just hate me because I just straight shoot. Okay? And, and these are real men who are aware of the global takeover. You can disagree with them on abortion or disagree with them on this or that. They are bucking the system and know there's a planetary takeover. I mean, listen, we can fight with each other all day about little issues. They're all little compared 
to the eugenicist planetary movement financed by the Rothschilds and royalty of the Netherlands and England. These people have a master plan. And guess what? They're carrying it out, my friend. So how, we can all kill each other later if we want to, but the racism and all of this stuff has got to stop at least until we've defeated the globalists. Then we can all hate each other if, you know, if that's so much fun. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, I, I see what you're saying. But, you know, I think that I, since I was a liberal, I, I tell liberals all these other things about like 9-11's inside job at George Soros. And, you know, as a college student, I think that we need to really invest into the education because, man, I'm struggling. You know, I see. But, all sir, these, sir, uh, listen, I appreciate your call. I got a break. You're a very sincere caller. Do you understand that our health care was the best in the world? There's no government involvement. Fifty years later, it's wrecked. You put money in the special interest, only give it to select groups. We spend more on education than anybody else in the world. And you go bankrupt, it's falling apart, and there's no jobs for what they train you. It's a bubble. I know it's hard for you. The American dream's gone, brother. We got to get it back. More government isn't the answer. Look at this story. I mentioned this, but here it is. Marxist professor fails students for not denouncing Christian faith in support of feminism. Biased exam questions Christianity as false, violent, and oppressive to women. We have a copy of the exam. A humanities professor reportedly failed a Christian student for not denouncing her faith in support of Marxism, atheism, and feminism. Boy, that's such freedom. The professor, Lance L.J. Russum of Polk State College in Winter Haven, Florida, reportedly gave the student four straight zeros, there's a copy of that, on assignments because she refused to agree with his biased test questions, which painted Christianity as false, violent, and oppressive to women. Of course, they'll never talk about radicalism or anything else. On one exam, the professor asks, and then it goes through just all the craziness. See it at InfoWars.com. But that's okay, because Bill Clinton cares about women when he rapes them. It's all right. There's a really powerful article from George Washington's blog on InfoWars.com that I won't have time to cover, but you should go read it. America's main problem, corruption. The cop is on the take, and they're talking about not the average cop, but like the SEC, the EPA. It's a really powerful article with how all the major regulators are like the former heads of the companies that they still own part of. I mean, it's just it's just wild. Uh, speaking of this, it's already started. We told you it was coming. They're like, by 2030, we'll start having driverless cars. They tell you that to make you go to sleep. It's already here. World's first self-driving truck takes the highways in Nevada. State certified two Freightliner inspection trucks to mix with regular traffic on public roads. And they're going to say it went great, and then they're going to roll everything out and say they're better than humans, and then raise the insurance till it's so expensive you can't drive anymore. And then everything is surveilled and tracked and taxed in their own words. The circle is now complete. The panopticon is in control. Humans are domesticated. Planetary Extermination to commence. Global plan to merge with the AI initiated. That's it for basic news. I'm going to go to break, come back and take four or five calls in the overdrive. Briefly.